Good day, time, everybody. Zero one eight here, Donkey Stomper. What I'm gonna do today? We got a bird forty three with the bird PVP kit. Oh yeah, please take time to like, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're not already. And I do want to go over something before I do this. Okay, again, I know you've heard me say this, but it's just like people just don't understand. Can a bird model forty three measure AM signals? Model 43 is not the best choice. Model 43 is not the best choice to measure AM modulation signals. It will not measure the average power of this waveform accurately due to the fact the peak to the average ratio of the signal is not zero. So, as far as I'm concerned, when you're in average mode on a bird or a, a meter or anything like it, you're a you're reading dead key and that's it. If you're trying to tune an amplifier in average, to me, that's like saying, let's see how much I can make this thing dead key before it blows my HGs. Because that's my own opinion. Take it what you will. But I noticed after I come out with this, I'm not going to call no names, but I seen one builder got rid of his birds and bought coax dynamics meters. Well, guys... Coaxial dynamics meters are pretty. They got a good meter on them. They're easier to read. But all they are is a generic cheaper bird. So your coax dynamics meters can't read it either. It's the same thing. I know this this one builder, I shouldn't say, this one guy got a coax dynamics meters because I come out with this. So he said, I'll give me some coaxial dynamics meters and that way he'll be wrong. Well, no, a coax dynamics meter is a cheap bird 43. A newer version, but same difference. It's the same thing, stands for here. The, the coax dynamic slugs work in a bird, bird slugs work in a, co in a coax dynamics, bird line section works in coax dynamics, vice versa. It's just all coax dynamics is, is a cheaper, I ain't gonna say a less better meter, but a cheaper meter than bird. That don't mean they ain't just as good. As far as I'm concerned, coax dynamics is just as good, but they're just a cheaper bird meter in slugs. So the same thing goes for coaxial dynamics. So the guy that bought coaxial dynamics meters after I after I posted this, uh, you didn't do no good, man. Get you a PEP kit, dude. PEP, tune up boxes and PEP. And uh, I'll tell you something else while I'm on the subject. Have you guys ever seen a uh, builder getting their amp meter and putting it on their amps, on their line up here or whatever? And they're showing what their box does and bragging about how many amps it draws. Okay, guys. Yeah, you can make a box draw a bunch of amps when you run a buttload of average at the radio and a buttload of average at the box, and it will draw more amps. Won't talk no better. Wouldn't you rather have a box doing more PEP and drawing less amps? Wouldn't that make more sense? More PEP and drawing less amps? Rather than running an average dead key as high as you can and drawing all the current you can and heating up your pills and heating up your power supplies and heating up everything and pushing it to the max so you can brag. Uh, set your dead key 25 watts per transistor. Go for the most PEP. It's the least amps. You want them boxes to draw the least amount of amps as possible but do the most wattage. You don't want them to draw great big amps and do great big average numbers, but whatever. They can do what they want to. It's their tail. They can tell theirs, and I'll tell mine. I'll give you, for instance, uh, I ain't gonna be in no big hurry on this video. I'll give you, for instance, all right, that 32 pill that I did the other day, I'm doing 3,000 something average of this cold right here, okay? We hooked dudes 29.95 to it just for test. It wouldn't do 1500 average. Same PEP. But we hooked this 2995 to it and it was pitiful. But you hook my little two, Cobra, two Cobra 29 to it, it'd do 3000 average. And my 29 is not tuned for big average watts like some of them. It's just basically old school super mod tune up back in the old day. It ain't none of this fancy stuff. 1969. But that's just an example. And you know as well as me. That 2995 I had in here the other day on the 32 pill, without talk, this 29 on the 32 pill. They did the same PEP, 
One did a one did a three thousand thirty three hundred average. The other one did twelve hundred average. And I guarantee you the twenty nine five will talk at twenty nine and skip. But that's the type of point, guys. Just them guys that want to believe in their average watts. Uh, go ahead, man. Go ahead, run them average watts, because that's what gives us a chance on transistors. We run our PP, and you run your great big average, and then. And then we uh, we run our PP and our good modulation, and what happens is we get on there and talk, and our modulation's so loud that we'll ride in on your carrier and ride over you with modulation. Actually, actually, I've seen that happen. You know, people have a have a lot stronger carrier, and then the modulating radio will come in there and talk right over the top of them on the person's own personal carrier. So keep turning down my average watts as high as you can. There ain't no formula that works, guys. Have you ever noticed that? If somebody knows it, tell me, bloop, bloop it down in the comments. There ain't no formula. Like, I used to think it was 2.4, but it don't work. And every box changes, every radio changes. There ain't no average power times whatever equals PP. There's not a mathematical formula that's correct. And the reason why is because it's right here that we've read a thousand times. All right. And coax dynamics, like I said, is a cheap bird. All right, that being over with, here's what this video is about. Today I'm going to show you something that nobody probably wants me to show. I'm going to show you how to tell if you're getting rooked by somebody in their bird meter. Now we got my two pill on. It's on 12 volts or whatever. I see the volt meter's all the way over yonder behind that power supply. It's on 13.8, but anyone up here, man. All right. Now you see these bird meters, bird PP kits, okay? All right, check this out. My two pill. Now, one, two, three, 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 it's got to be, right? It's a bird PP kit, right? Hello, one, two, three, one, two, three, four hundred PP. Wow. Look what it's showing up here. Huh, and you know my bird's tighter. My bird's tighter than my LP. So, just for kicks, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to put the 250 slug in, if I can get it out with one hand. This bird meter's new, and it's got a... Uh, there it goes. Bird meter's newer. It's a newer one. All right. We got our 250 slug in now, so. Now we're going to be reading 50, 100, 150, 200, 250. Order wide, two pill, bam. Deck in 50. Look at that two pill getting on. Damn. Get on down on 13 volts with a, just a 30 watt radio drive. It. Wow. All right, guys, here's the catch. I'll turn this thing around. You see this little adjustment right here? See the little adjustment on that bird kit? If somebody's messed with that, that's why you're seeing all them watts. That's why some of them birds are out swinging LPs. See right now, one, two, my bird is showing more of my LP. One, two, one, two. Now what I'm gonna do, this is what this video is about. I'm gonna teach you how to calibrate your bird meter with the bird PP. The other PP kits, you're just gonna have to read the direction and get it close as you can. It's, it's a little, you know, it's not perfect. No, it's perfect, but it's a little more giving. The 5X, 1X, whatever. But here's, here's how you do it, guys. Dick in 49 watts, PP, okay? Now watch this. What? So if you see somebody's got a bird meter and they're showing you all the swing, challenge them with the bird P. I got a bird PP kid, I know it's right. All right, look. An average power is Ken 25. 
Watch this. I'm not going to unkey. Watch my hand. I'm pushing the thing. Woo. 50. Woo. 25. PP. Woo. 50. So if, if a meter does it right there, it's lying to you. It's been cut up. Okay. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do this with all these hands. I'm going to have to figure out a way to key this mic. In order to set that right, what you want to do, this is how you calibrate a bird PP kit. You want to key up 25 watts. You go over here and you push, push any PP kit. Let me turn down my mic game so when we're picking me up talking. Mic game's always down. Mic game's always down. 50 watts. So you go over here and push that in. All right, you take this bird motor, you take your screwdriver, go on that adjustment right there. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna be blind and try to run a video camera and can't do it all at one time. Should have put it above head, I guess, but that's all right. I can't see. That's why I don't work on radios no more. What you're gonna do, is you're going to take this adjustment and you're going to roll that back to 25 watts. Twenty-five watts. Alright. Now, when you're on average, the key in twenty-five. When you push in this PP over here. It's still coming up just a little. It needs to be turned down a little bit more. I can't get it perfect on the camera. Let's see. I'm going to try it though. Because if anything, you want it lower so it don't lie to you. You don't want it higher. Let me push the PP. It's, it's hard to get old. I got contacts, but it's hard to get old, not better safe. All right, I'll back. All right. This is how you calibrate a bird 43 PUP kit. If it's a good kit. Now, don't get me wrong, something could break in the kit and it'd be bad. You know, anything's bad, but as a rule, these things don't break. Bird 43 kits don't. So you key up 25. If you want to push in your PUP, back a little bit yeah see that's how you check your bird meter if somebody's fooling you that key 25 pp on 25 now watch the swing hello worldwide let me turn my gate up now let's watch the swing so it's some calibrated right hello worldwide worldwide we're reading that top scale hello worldwide worldwide oh my lord what happened to all my watts that's how you check a bird meter, a PUP kit. Hello, worldwide, 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 150, one, two, worldwide, 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 look at that. Worldwide, matter of fact, my bird up there just a little bit looser than this, one, two, worldwide, worldwide. But folks, there you go. If you think somebody's trying to rook you with their bird meter, that's all you gotta do. Now we'll put a 5,000 watt slug in here, a 500 watt slug back in there. Remember, it was doing 400 at the first video. And they're low, worldwide, 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 PP zone, worldwide, we're 160. Well, how? It reads right. So you're reading that 500 watt scale, so 100, 200. Worldwide, 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 worldwide. But then if you want to be 100% sure, you can take a smaller slug, like a 100 watt. Let's take it to be sure that our bird, what you want to do, we got a 100 watt slug in there. Key this thing up on average. This slug looks like it's a little bit tighter. I got one slug in here that's goofed up. That might be it. But anyway, it don't matter. It's showing 25 watts. Puts my PP in. See, backs up a little bit. If you ever see somebody and you go somewhere and they're on a bird and they're showing you a box doing X amount of wattage, 
tell them just key up their key up their bird and average power push the peak button in if the meter goes up higher it's cut up and that my friends is how you calibrate a bird meter i've never seen nobody make this video before i don't even know if they uh people might not want everybody to know how to do it but from now on if you're somewhere and you're checking a box you're going to buy a box or whatever guys now you know how to see if the bird meter is reading correctly or pretty close i mean some of these slugs i do have some slugs that's a little bit looser here and there than others but the point is now you know how to calibrate a bird meter and see if it's a bull crap reading or if it's even close because all they gotta do is turn that up and make a thousand watt amp a two thousand watt amp make two thousand watt amp three thousand watt amp so and you never know it but guys i hope this information is informative to you if you like this video let me know uh we'll try to make some more uh something stuff like this but like i said y'all read that over there about the bird meters and you can go buy a coax dynamics and i can't find the article in the coax dynamics but keep in mind coax dynamics is just a cheaper bird I mean, that's all it is. It is easier to read, but it's just a cheaper bird, so it's the same purpose. Their slugs interchange, their line sections interchange, all that. So buying a coax dynamics don't make you read average power right either. I think actually to actually truly read average power, or what they would call average or RMS, you'd have to have a scope and spectrum analyzer and do the math and multiplication and all that. But that's what I'm saying, different radios they're different things. Like I said, I had a 295 sitting over here the other day that was doing 225 watts. Had it going to a four pill, had it going to a 32 pill, about 1500 average. Took my 29, put it in my two pill, and it was doing 200 and something, into the four pill, into 32 pill, doing 33 average. I could even go 29 into four pill, into 32 and get over 2000 average. I was still beating it without a two pill driver. So that's what I'm saying, guys. There ain't no formula that works. If there is, let me know. If you know a formula that you can read average, like you can go over here and come up with my average swing. If you know a, I'm gonna get this slug in. If you know a formula, which guys, I don't know everything, don't claim to. I mean, I'm just an old guy that's been in CB radio and self-taught his whole life, I, shit, I ain't no expert. But if you go into average, like right now, hello, one, two, one, two, all right, uh, oh, and then 40 average. If you know a, a, a mathematical figure that'll work for that, let me know. Let's try it. Let's just try it. I always heard 2.4, what do you guys hear? I've always heard 2.4, let's just try it. Just for curiosity, let's just test this little theory online live on youtube all right we got 40 watts average right what'd they say 2.4 let me see 40 times 2.4 well we got your calculator working 40 i ain't no good at math neither if i would i'd be electronic genius well, that's 96. that don't make no sense they told me 2.4 is what works. So if you're doing 40 average, you're doing 96 watts. No, that don't work, guys. I mean, that just don't work. Hey, look here. Let me get my 250 slug back out. It's hard being blind. I can't see the numbers on the slugs like my glasses. PP 250, be reading that top scale it's showing day kid 25 there it was showing i told y'all 40 while ago i'm sorry i screwed up wait a minute i screwed up that was day kid 25 i was reading the wrong scale so it's easy to do especially like you know i'm on here trying to trying to show something i read that wrong okay we're kid 25 now we're swinging 40 i'm sorry that's right Hello, we're why, we're why, we're why, we're why, we're we're swinging 155 average, okay. We're back, I mean 155p, we're back in average. Hello, one, two, we're why, we're why, we're okay, 40 average. So 40 times 2.4 is 96. 
Hello world, 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 we're doing 150 something. And this meter's on the tighter end. I mean, this is, I've got this one pretty damn tight. I'd probably bump it just a little bit looser. It needs to just be showing about 200 really to suit me, but that still ain't dry. So let's just say 40 times 3.4. 136. Well, 40 times 6.4. 256. But even if we do find the number, okay? If we do find the number that worked, times 100. 40 times. Let's just say we keep playing around. We go 40 times 5.8. 232. We go 40 times 5. It's 200. Let's just say we find the number, okay? It don't matter because it might. we might find the number that makes it work this time. But when we hook up a different piece of equipment, that number won't work. It will not convert from average to PP correctly. So that's what I'm saying, guys. That's, that's back to that that letter over there I read you a hundred times. I keep reading and, and, and people can't hear. I don't know. I really would, guys. I mean, if I tuned a box on average, I mean, I feel like I'm tuned it wrong. That's me, guys. I mean, I've been in this since about 1997. I don't know a whole lot, but I want my box to swing the most PP and draw the less amps I can. I don't want the most average and the most amps I can draw. That's inefficient. You see what I'm saying? That's inefficient. You tune your box to key the most average and draw the most amps. All right, and you're wasting all that power. Then I come over here with the less average, with the less average, and PEP and walk on you. It happens all the time. And don't get me wrong, them boxes, some of them boxes that are tuned like that, they still talk. I mean, they work. If you remember back in the old days, I'll tell you another example. Back in the old days on the sweet tube box. The old timers, they always keyed their boxes, turned their mic game down, they keyed their radio, and they would tune their boxes to key the most. And then they'd burn their tubes out. Tune their boxes to key the most, to burn their tubes out. And we're talking five or six watt radios. All right, us new timers, I'd get a Galaxy Saturn and swing 45. And I'd, key, I'd tune that box, that phantom to PEP. Guess what quit happening? The tubes didn't burn out. So now these old timers back in the day, they was running their Phantom. They was tuning it to maximum dead key at 400, okay? Swing the five, burning tubes up. Cause it was drawing all the amperage and all the dead key and all the average it could. So I'm over here on the damn Galaxy Saturn, tuning that Phantom to PEP, doing 1200, and just tearing airways up compared to an old time radio. So that's just me guys, I'm just telling you what works for me. And the bird reads right there, and like I said, a coax dynamics meter don't get you out of that situation because it's just a cheaper bird. Guys, I hope that helped you. Uh, me and Freckles are sitting here. He's like, what are you doing, Daddy? I hope that information was useful to you guys and helped you out. Uh, I wasted 23 minutes of your life here. But uh, maybe that'll help you. Guys, I appreciate you. Please take time to like, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're not already. Please take time to join and be a member. Hey, we give away our first mic the other day to our members, and uh, we're going to be a lot more than that. we got to get more members to generate more revenues, but i got some plans. I mean, you can't ever tell what I'm going to give away. We get enough members in there. I might give away a four pill. I might give away a two-byte base. I might give away a bird meter. I might give away a striker. You just can't never tell what would happen, but we got to get the revenue coming. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please take time to like and join our, video, join our YouTube channel. Y'all take care. Your friend 10, 018 Beavis. Donkey Stomper. Take take care. Bye-bye.